Good morning. Today we're going to look at uh, using the RTB Exporter Pro to create a scheduled task and export Navisworks files of a predetermined or pre-saved view within a Revit file across multiple Revit files. Um, so I'll just start Autodesk Revit. I'm going to choose a work setted file that I have. Um, I've already got a, a local file made of the first one, so, but uh, I've got three work setted files that I'm going to export Navisworks views for um, House A, B, C. So I'm just going to open my local copy of the, the work setted file. Just go to the Exporter Pro. Just dismiss the training dialogue. These are training videos if you haven't seen it before. And you can click on any one of those to watch a tr small training video. Within the Exporter Pro interface, um, I'm just going to switch to the, the views. I want to export a 3D view, um, and the view I want to export is the Navis Export All. And I'm just going to add that to my batch process under the, the Views option. So I'm just going to click the arrow to add that view to the batch process. I could use um, Saved Filters. Uh, this box here allows you to into wildcards, I can search for NWC. I can use all sorts of wildcards in there to search for my view intelligently and save that as a saved filter and then load the saved filter here back for um, reuse in a batch process. But since I just want one view and one particular view, I'm just going to select the view itself. I'm then going to go in and set my export options for the Navisworks file output. So just select export. Choose the Navisworks tab. Um, configure your desired export options for the Navisworks file. So these use the, the standard Autodesk options. I'm going to select my output file type that I want for this batch process. I want NWC already selected it's remembered it from a time before uh, the file path of, on, and destination of the exported file as um, that I would like in my batch process so I'm going to export them to this location um, and then I've used the the wild cards or the parameters uh, just select the parameter here for date um, and there's options down the bottom here to configure the style of date format that you want uh, to appear in the directory name. Under the file name you have the same view options. Um, I'm going to type in building A. I'm going to leave that there in this, this demo um, because we're going to use a detached central file and because it's a detached central file it won't have a file name so I can't use any of the parameters for Revit file name if it's a detached central file and has no file name. I am going to add in view name. I want the view name and I also want a date with these as well because I'm going to uh, pretend that this is set up for a, a scheduled task that's going to run uh, once a week or every night. I'm just going to save this configuration to a external file. I'm going to save it there under my um, export configuration files um, so I can recall it in my batch process and it's always a good idea to test to make sure that the, your settings have worked as expected at this point just click OK and it'll the exporter will go and select that view and export that to an MWC close and if I check my location it's created it 
just delete that because we're going to run it as a batch process. So I've got my view and my batch process. Now I just need to load the created export file. So I'll go and select that one, load that in as my export configuration. And down here, there's an option to set the work sharing op options because this is a central file. Just click on that. At the top, I have a choice to create an archive of the central file. So I am going to leave that set. Um, I'm going to override the existing if there is an existing one in there. But because the folder path um, to my destination also has the same date parameters, uh, I can choose any of these parameters that include in my directory name and um, saved, exported, um, uh, archived file names. And it's important to note that you need to add a, a slash to finish the the directories. Um, so let's just clear that actually. I'll clear that and start. Um, so go down. Da, da, da. So I want it under exports there. So if you want to add any uh, subdirectories, add a slash. I can use these parameters for a subdirectory. So I've got a subdirectory uh, parameter there. I need to include another slash to make that as a subdirectory. And then it's the parameters for the actual um, archived Revit file name. And I'm going to use building one, or building a, underscore, and I'm going to put the date on there uh, as part of my file name. That way I've, I know what my file is. Again, because it's that detached central file, it won't have a file name, so the parameter for central file name won't come up. Down here I'm going to detach the central file and I'm going to detach and preserve the work sets and I'm going to open all work sets before I create the export. Click OK and that will have saved the, um, the work sharing options. Click Save to save this uh, batch demo. Um, and I'm going to call it building A again. We're going to do building B and building C and then add them all to a scheduled task. So building A, save. Close the exporter. Um, close your Revit file. And open the next uh, Revit file. So I want building B. And just repeat those steps. Um, go into the exporter. Switch to my views. The exporter is, is fairly clever at remembering where you've last been. Um, so it makes it easier. To, um, to get round things. I'm just going to clear this here and make sure I load it from, from scratch. Um, demo, that's the one that I want for my export options. And under my central file settings, I'm going to change this to building B this time. Click OK. Clear that one actually. I need to go export and make sure I change my export file path to building B. Just save this as a demo. I'm going to call this one. B, otherwise it'll call the file names the same name. We have got three separate ones. Test that one again. Here's building B. You can choose uh, do not show that option. I'm going to load the export for building B. Just check my central file path for the archive again. Yes, I'm happy with that. Save this batch process. And this is going to be B save and then I can close this one close this 
local file. Open the, the last one. Again, go into my exporter. I'm going to grab my view that I want, add my view. I'm going to clear the export settings for building B. Go to my export settings. I want this to be building C this time. I'll save that as export C. Save. OK. Created the Navisworks file. Lovely. I'm going to load that saved export file. Just reconfirm that I've got the changes made to my all my file names that I need. Yes. Yes, I'm detaching it. Okay. And I'm going to save this as the the remaining batch export for the, the series. Save. And now at this point I can then switch to the task scheduler. I can either choose it from the side menu here or I can choose it from the, the ribbon up here. And I'm going to create a new scheduled task. In the scheduled tasks, I have a remote task. If I've got the remote um, processing server of the exporter set up, I can send it to a remote server and not use my workstation. I'm going to use a local task for this demo because I'm doing it off my laptop. And I'm just going to call this um, NWC multi export. If it's the first time that you're using the exporter to do a scheduled task, please um, click on the, the Revit application and point it to which Revit application you would like to start with this scheduled task. Um, I've pointed it back to Revit 2015. And you can choose here under your schedule settings to have it set for a one-time only occurrence, daily, weekly, monthly. Dates and times can be set. You can synchronize the time zones as well. Um, it's important down here to tick this option to automatically close any dialog boxes in the running of the scheduled task. That way, if um, you've set it to run overnight, um, the Exporter Pro will automatically dismiss any dialog boxes that might pop up uh, through the process of opening and detaching the central files and creating the Navisworks files. And then down the bottom, uh, we're just going to load in those saved batch configuration files. So building A, building B, building C. Click open. I've loaded them in. And then click OK to create the scheduled task. Um, my scheduled task, I'm just going to run manually for this occurrence um, instead of us waiting for it. Um, I'm going to click the close to the exporter. Click close to Revit. Just going to delete those files there. And I'm just going to start the task scheduler and I'm going to explore the saved tasks that exist. Um, because this is a, a one off occurrence that for this demo, I'm just going to run it manually. Click run on the, the saved RTV scheduled task for the exporter. The exporter will then start Revit automatically and it'll start working its way through the batch process list. So you can see in the dialog uh, readout that it's it's opening the, the central files, it's creating an archive on them, it's opening the work sets from the um, detached save view, it's exporting the Navisworks files, it's switching between models automatically um, as it's running through. So it's a fairly um, clever little process and it, it does help if you have to create a lot of uh, drawings um, over and over and over again. Um, maybe they be Navisworks files or PDF files. Um, it's very handy for creating those things um, over and over and over again. So I've got my saved Navisworks views and I've got my archived 
central file. So I've got a record to always come back and uh, see what was exported and uh, an archived copy of the, the central file before it was exported as well. Um, if I just open any of those Navisworks files, you can see that it's created the Navisworks files themselves and you can explore them just like a, a normal Navisworks file. And that's the creating scheduled tasks for with the RTV Exporter Pro um, and having it manage multiple file types uh, across multiple files, uh, including Revit Central files. I uh, hope you enjoyed the demo and thank you for stopping by.